What I'm going to show you this morning is how I do a faceted bowl. So first I'm going to show you where I've got this set up. And if you're looking right there, you can see that there's a laser mounted on an array right above the wheel. What I'm going to do is position the camera so you can see how this system is aligned. So I have a square on the wheel head. And I have the lights off right now because it's easier to see the laser this way. What I'm going to do first is I have a piece of white material that I can put here that is allows you to see that this is the exact same perpendicular line all the way vertical. And that's the first step in getting a laser true to the wheel head. Any ordinary little metal square like this, which this is a rafter square from Harbor Freight for about three dollars and it's accurate enough so that you're assured now that the line is dead vertical. Now I'm going to show you that I have lines drawn on this bat for the square bowl I'm making and since this is set up with a device that is now we know is perpendicular this is using a three ace threaded rod and the three ace thread threaded rod means that I can move this a sixteenth of an inch with every thread and you can see now that I'm right at the edge of that. So one more move, and there I am. And now we know that this line is exactly square to the um, square that I'm bowl that I'm going to cut. So next, I'll pull one of the bowls out. I'm going to turn the light on now, so it'll be easier to see. You won't be able to see the trace line quite as readily, but I'm going to center up the bowl. And to make sure that it's centered, I'm going to spin it. And I can see that it's concentric. So now I'm going to line it up again with the line right here. And then I'm using a marking pen. And it doesn't matter, but I'm using a black one for ease of, to make it easy to see. And I don't, the line doesn't have to be perfect. And I'll show you the cutting action in a separate video. Right now I just want to show you how to do the layout for a square bowl. These were laid out very accurately with a square to the wheel head and the bat. So this is a super easy way to facet. You can make faceted bowls of any number. So you could make a five-sided bowl, you can make a six-sided bowl, and you should keep in mind that the cut doesn't have to be vertical. One of the nicest things about using a laser with a beam splitter is you can project a straight line on from an oblique angle and produce very interesting, for example, a cupped out shape bowl would be generated if I put the laser to the left of this mark, it would make the bowl have a gentle outward curve. And that's the thing I like about it is it offers a lot of options to create faceted items that look really, really nice. And this, I can't think of any other way. A template would never work because the shape of the bowl being curved like this won't allow a template. So that's ready. And now I'll take that off and I'll go to a cut video.